Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight and welcome back to another mod spotlight in Starbound. It's been a little while, a bit of a gap. I'm going to try to cut down the gaps between these, but let us move on. Uh, last time we were looking at the USCM, or United Systems expansion, and we were going through the quest line. And it's been updated a little bit since uh, the last episode, which is why I there was a bit of a gap there just to make sure I... Had everything more or less in line, but here we are. The Lead City Campaign Intermediate four-part U.S. expansion mission. Starving is in effect. There's no beaming out once you're in, and death will reset your campaign progress. All right, so also we're playing with our Alethian character now. Let's see. Receiving an incoming transmission from Clefa, uh, Klendafu IV2. Please fix codex transmission. This is Sarge. I'll be your eyes in the sky using these old satellites left behind by the Martian government. Welcome to Lead City, a residential complex located near an industrial sector. I'm a laid-back kind of guy, so I ain't gonna shout at you. Right now, you're in the suburban sector of Lead City. You'll need to push on forward, and if required, use lethal force on civilians. It's unethical, but they're rowdy and seriously don't like intruders. Mission is simple. Clear a path through the suburbs, and we'll be able to launch a surprise attack on a rebel facility four clicks from here. The goal is east. Good luck. All right, let's roll. I mean, apparently, uh, killing of civilians is authorized. I mean, that's, uh, a jolly good, I suppose. Um, all right, let's, uh, get going, shall we? Mars is in a constant state of war with almost no ships to leave and no foreign aid to assist with any evacuations. Both sides continue to fight regardless of civilian casualties. That's, uh, pretty rough, man. Yeah, that's right. Fact the war. It's totally what that's saying. Totally it's saying fact. This whole mission really gives me a, a certain, um, oh, what's the name of the game? Uh, this war of mine kind of vibe, you know, where you probably borrow their stuff. I'm sure they won't mind. You're right. I mean, why would they possibly mind me borrowing their belongings? I mean, hey there. He shot first, you saw it. I mean, he didn't get down on the ground or anything like that. Ah, who's attacking me? Anyway, I just trust if, if my guys are attacking, I'll attack. Basically, more or less. Let's have a delicious Avis Mingo and a Dune Bun. Nom 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 nom. Could also boil some rice. Just some junk documents, but let's go through the codexes, shall we? Let's see. What do we have here? Ideology of War. Excerpt from page 17, Propaganda. Often during war, combatants from both sides will truly believe they're fighting for what's best for their faction. They're led to believe that they're the good guys of the world while ignoring the destruction that they inflict on the world itself. Wars will always have factions believing they have the moral high ground, even if evidence shows otherwise. Soldiers, fed by the propaganda machine. Very... Very, uh, kind of grim, philosophical tone, this mission. Our very first introduction, really, is, hey, now that person definitely unequivocally struck first. You can't say, oh god, you can't say me murdering these people is not justified now. I mean, it's not murder, it's justifiable homicide. Totally. I mean, these are... I mean, we can't even say they're enemy non-combatants. I mean, they've got pretty heavy military-grade <laughs> ordnance on hand, so... I think it's fair to say... That, uh, you know... I am completely justified in fighting back. Probably. Though the fact that, you know, the ideology here is that these are civilians does kinda... Does kinda make me feel a little bit of a bad guy. Ow. Hey, man. That's just not cool, man. You know, fact the war, man. Fact the war. Might as well take everything. You never know, we're probably gonna run into someone who has some kind of, uh... Oh, there'll be some kind of thing. Uh, someone where I could sell stuff to, that's what I'm trying to say. 
All right, we'll just kind of dive into the water here. That probably won't go wrong. Hopefully. One can dream. All right, what do we got in here? Deck card. Those are always nice to have. Okay, that way is blocked. The way forward sealed and not for us to go. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Nice music, too, by the way. I like it. Oh my, there's a drowned person there. Another drowned person there. You know, the fact that there's, you know, these little cuffs here on the wall, that kind of makes me mildly concerned here about the potential implications of what's been going on in this building. I don't know if I like it. And with those corpses, I mean, the drinking... Drinking. Drinking water has got to be contaminated. That's just not good. Ugh, look at that toilet. Someone's been vomiting in there. We're doing other things. Possibly. Alright, let's move on. Hi there, friendo. Oh, you were going to shoot, weren't you? Why? Why would you even do that, man? Come on. Let's calm... Let's calm this situation down a little bit. I mean, these guys are armored. Oh. I mean, you're, you're totally not a... You're not a non-combatant at all. You're some kind of, like, looter or something. Totally just being opportunistic and stuff. Justify the killing, man. Justify the killing. Or something. Something like that. There we are. We'll, we'll play a bit of music. You know, I'm surprised these looters have not taken these valuable paintings yet. You'd figure... I mean, then again, they're probably just, like, copies of the originals rather than the originals themselves, but you never know. They could be, could be originals. It's entirely possible that, uh, come on, man, don't launch that RPG in this enclosed space. That would be very irresponsible, which is why I had to pacify you first or something, probably. I'll take that. Bloop. Oh, God. Uh, can I set these off? All right, just gotta run for it, man. Well, that actually worked out okay. A lot of guns. Oh uh, boy, if only I'd got that fire resistance EPP. That would have been a good idea, probably. All right, very grim place, isn't it? This uh, this area we're in. Very grim. This war of mine. What's this? Old life. Remember the days. Freedom burns away. All hope turns to dust. And what does this do? An executive console. So exquisite, you can't help but treat it with respect. I see. Picking up a lot of junk. Thus far. Let's see here. I check everything. Because you never know. You never know when you're going to get some good loot. I mean, there's a gun right there in that little storage receptacle. Or, an, I mean, I don't know who keeps an assault rifle in, in their desk, but I guess uh, they do. Also, I should probably be playing it a little bit safer here, just because, you know, we have only... Like, we have to get through four parts of this mission, and if we die during any part, then that's just it. We're, we got to start all over again. That would be... Oh, hello there. Less than ideal, basically. I'll just turn that little console on. It also occurs to me, I suppose, I probably could have pulled... Hell, hello again. You're going straight to the inc... Straight to the incinerator? Wow, that... Wow, man, that... You escalated that one pretty quickly. I mean, you didn't even know if I was trying to hurt you or anything. What's this? Earth newspaper, huh? Let's take a look at that. No power, though. No power on anything, man. Of course, I probably could have hit that thing. Let's see here. Rebel Assault, or Rebels Assault Mars. In a shocking change of events, the tyrannical rebellion have cowardly withdrawn their forces from Earth, while rioters have begun to retreat into their man caves, and have begun assaulting the small, pathetic planet known as Mars. Hey, man. Mars isn't pathetic. This has allowed our brave and valiant protector troops to seize control of their illicit equipment, such as stim packs and metagel. More news of the cowardly terrorist attacks in the special edition War on Terra copy. Russia finishes construction of capital ship Admiral Korbechi. Or 
Berbechki. That's how I'm going to pronounce that. That's the correct pronunciation now. Probably, maybe. Russia completes its first capital ship in its current project to mass evacuate the Russian populace off of Earth for seemingly no reason. The Russian government refuses to release details on why its people are leaving, but the Protectorate aren't too happy losing control of a soon-to-be-empty nation. One thing is for sure, the Russians won't be coming back anytime soon. Hundreds of landowners are busy buying Russian territory as a result. Did the Russians know the rune was coming? Are the Russians all secretly part of the Akasis cult? I can totally buy that. Probably. Okay. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Aha! I mean, apparently I got it right. For once in my life, I figured, some, I figured something out relatively easily on the first try. Wow, whoever was kept in that detention center. I uh, feel bad for them. That's gotta suck. Anyway, let's move on. In this very grim and gritty world. Also, Mars is not quite as red as I thought it would be. You know, what with it being known as the red planet and all. Oh god, there's two people with rockety launcher things. Come on, shoot your rocket launchers. Ah. They shot them right in my face. War is murder. It sure is, pal. It sure is. I'm not going to eat that. I like the fact there's little uh, construction-y stations scattered throughout here. Gives us uh, something to do. And by that I mean it gives us... Uh, you know, if we need to resupply, please don't shoot that thing at me. Come on, man. Have... No, like, calm it down a little. Calm it down. Alright. Ah, oh, we made it! Oh god, oh god. Yeah. Alright, what do we got here? I or even... Oh, also, you know what? I mean, I, I did go through this mission before the update on my other character, and there, there was a... I remember there being a, a dialogue about Nox that I have apparently missed on this run, which makes me feel kind of sad. I think it's back in that flooded building that we were in right back at the beginning. A wise man once said, if we don't put an end to war, war will put an end to us. They were goddamn right. It all started with the global demilitarization program and recommendations by high level diplomats. Yet this caused even more anger and conflicts when it was supposed to end them. People worldwide began to riot against this. It soon it turned into what would become the USCM rebels. See, high level diplomats, probably by the Lefia Corporation, you know, that's who sent them. It's all about Lefia, man. They're secretly trying to take over the world through passive-aggressive means. Typical high lottle. Anyway. Wanting the old and fair Earth, not this new world order they so-called. Ah, damn it, I fought in the Great Florin War, fighting hand-to-hand -hand combat against the savage Florins, and this is what my efforts were for? For humanity to fight each other again, just like in the history books? I'm 87 goddamn years old, goddamn. And I've seen through 60 years of war in my life. I saw Earth being ravaged by a tentacle monster on Mars television. Yet they still keep fighting. And fight they shall. Anyway, I'm actually going to go back and see if I can find that Nox uh, diary. And then we'll carry on. Ah, here we are. I knew it was around here somewhere. Wanted. Azra Nox. Aged, an aged female, commonly known as Azra Knox, is wanted for multiple crimes against humanity is, and is a high-priority target of multiple factions. Crimes including violation of Geneva Con Convention Article 1, 2, 3, 10, 24, genocide against the human race, attempted genocide against non-human species, terrorism, dealing of illicit substances, torture, deprivation of prisoners of war, evasion of law enforcement, evasion of military personnel, malicious intent, willful killing, Directing attacks against civilians, directing attacks against humanitarian workers, usage of civilians as shields, pillage, summary execution, killing surrendered combatants, mass deportation, misuse of the truce flag, hostage taking, armed robbery, armed assault, mentally unstable with malicious intent, petty theft, gang-related violence, endorsement of terror. Oh, 
Yeah. Ezra's been a very, very bad girl. And... It really drives home. I mean, like, I, I know mods are not strictly canon and whatnot, but that does sort of add when you think about it, like, how, like, what Nox has done, what she's trying to do, what she would have done if given the chance, and is basically, basically beyond redemption of any kind. And while we reflect on that, I'm going to cut away back to the end, and I will see you guys again momentarily. Alrighty then, so moving on, and I think the, the plan here is that we'll, it's a four-part mission, so we'll probably do two parts per episode. I think that about makes sense. Uh, you guys are, yeah, you guys are all following me, right? Got blueprints of this tunnel. If this is correct, there's a convenient locked door and a convenient generator blocked by a convenient path. Through the Leah's Protectorate Museum. Missed the last step, bit of that. Head back up to the surface and go through the Leeds Museum. Once you're in, head to the lower levels and you'll be able to access a generator somewhere in the lower depths of, uh, stuff. You'll find it anyways. What voice was I giving that guy again? I keep changing his name. Or his voice. I want to give him a laid back, possibly vaguely, vaguely southern accent. Like the worst worst southern accent of all time. Wonder if these guys are friendly. Hi there, friends. Oh, you are. Hi. Well, if you're friendly, then I'm friendly to you. I, uh, you can keep your... There's a mod that makes your companions not keep closing doors. I really should get that mod. Be very convenient. Kind of annoying having them keep closing the stuff. This appears to be another convoluted locked door scenario. I can tell you how to open it, but I want to make sure you have basic puzzle-solving skills. It's baffling why organizations or organisms don't use keys. Okay. Alright. Alright, so I, I have to assume... I wait for it to get to the level, and I press... button. Okay. I'm on now. Hey, this is interesting. Uh, hurry up, Phil. Give me more, more lava. Okay. Oh, I see. I've got a, kind of like lower levels of each. No, no. Get, get back down. Get back down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Okay, we did it. We did it. All right. Let's get through that. <laughs> Whew. Good job on getting through that. Thank you. Fired a little bit of trial and error, but we got it. That's what life's about, isn't it? It's about that trial and error. Don't you ruin my work, sir. Man. Who built this place and who put in such a crazy puzzle? That's just crazy, man. A very crazy puzzle indeed. That's all blocked off. So we can't go through the easy way, unfortunately. Ah, but then again... Who wants to go through easy stuff, right? Hello, are you friendly? You have to tell you something, it's important. Some weird things have been happening at the museum. I see these weird shadowed figures inside the building. I don't think they're friendly. Also, I think they might actually be shadows. Some guys came by and tried shooting them uh, through the windows. Uh, that should help or something, I don't know. If you plan to go inside those, just avoid those guys. Do it quietly. Alright. Nothing Hmm. Shadows, you say. Interesting. Interesting. What's going on here, man? That makes me think... I want to say Metal Slug. Looking at that, to be honest with you. I don't know if that's right. That's what I think when I look at that. So, is this like a PO Or not a POW camp, but like a refugee camp or something, maybe? That's what I'm going to assume until told otherwise. Alright, so now we're going through the museum. We've got some kind of weird shadow people. And that's why you always talk to NPCs. They'll let you know what's up. If we didn't talk to that girl back there, then we'd come in and ow. And we'd just see shadow things. We'd be like, what the heck are shadow things doing? This is like a weird mission. Who built, who wrote the story of this? This makes no sense. But you know, it does. It's all in the lore, man. It's gotta read it. Quarantine report M3. Sector has been successfully sealed off and no one's daring enough to breach the perimeter. Whatever's in that building, it better have been worth the resources to stop anything coming in or out. It's not easy to calm your average Sunday drivers, either. 
We had the highway blocked off and this rich couple came up to us and screamed at us to move aside. We're not moving aside 120 tons of concrete for a spoiled couple. Told them to take another route. That's right. People have no respect for our civil servants, do they? Or our military personnel. Hey, Sarge here. I don't like the looks of this place. Keep it quiet and sneak around whatever is in that building. Sneak? Pfft. What do you think I am? Some kind of wimp? Let's see. This is the Leeds Protectorate Museum, a joint project for spreading protectorate influence onto Mars. Museum, however, failed to receive public approval. Didn't quite read that fast enough. That's my own fault. I hear some shooting happening. Oh, wait, wait, shadow things. This ties into those, uh, those, uh, Tycheon thingies. That's right. Ooh, a codex. I understand now. Now it's all come together. That's not just like a little reference in the space missions. That's like something to hint at the upcoming lore for the actual story stuff. Very clever. I like it. What do we got here? Global Earth News bringing you pure, unbiased news. Would you like to know more? Probably. Uh, politic schmolitics. The United Systems have been Earth's global military force. However, with the recent peace between all of her races, the US has nothing active to fight for. Peace and prosperity across all inhabited systems has been at all its all-time highest, with no political tensions between the leaders of each race. Seems weird given the apex, but then again, this is clearly biased news, isn't it? Earth's global president, Abraham Tusk, has reduced the US's budget down to 10% of its original military power, which has caused outrage within the ranks of the US military and the militarist population. Abraham Tusk claims that we have entered a new age of peace and prosperity. Despite these sayings, many American civilians are displaying resentment over the legislation of a, or legislation of a global leader leader blah, 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 passed last year. I see. Oh my. People appear to be dying down there, man. Hello there, shadow monster. Wait. Wait a minute. I actually can't hurt it. Oh god. Aha! Yeah, try to sneak through that, sir. Alright, so... Nothing we do can stop these creatures. They are invincible. We should bow down to our new shadow overlords. And just accept it. I'm also gonna... Ah, no! Leave me alone, shadow dude! Alright, so we're back, and... I gotta say... I might have been mistaken, but I'm pretty sure I was at full health and I was one-shot by that shadow creature. I have to be honest, I... I like the idea, or I don't mind the idea of these shadow creatures being... invincible. But... Being able to one-shot me is just a bit much. Also, you want my soul, apparently. That's, uh... I mean, I'm kind of using my soul. Alright, I think we're gonna actually wrap this episode up there, because I don't want to go through part one of that mission again. So, my one criticism... I, I don't have a problem with the shadow things being invincible, but being able to one-shot me is a bit much, personally. I, I think they should probably do, like, regular, regular tier 6 enemy damage. That way, at least, you know, you, you can have a moment to, like, especially if you get cornered, to, you know, heal yourself up and get a bit of breathing room. And especially because, like, you have to start over from the beginning, see? in order to, like, if you die, so that it feels a little bit, uh, it's a little bit too punishing for my liking. So, if I were to have any criticism at all, that is, that's the one, one bit of criticism is, just don't make the shadow creatures instantly one-shot you. Maybe two or three shot. Maybe three shot. That way you have, especially if you get swarmed, you have a possibility to escape. But other than that, like the implication, hopefully we get a weapon to kill the shadow creatures later and learn some interesting lore tidbits there. But we'll come back next time, so that's going to do it for this episode. So until the next time, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below to let me know what you're thinking. And I will see all of you in the next video.